Tank. I'm Jay Valentine. This is the R&B Money Podcast, the authority. Yes, it is. On all things. All things. R&B. And, uh, and sports. And sports. <laughs> we gonna get to that. Oh, fuck, man. We gonna get to that. Oh, fuck, man. I respect, I respect <laughs> your love. I respect hey, your listen. ten toes down. I respect it. I'm faithful to the gang, we, we, man. Yeah, man. I'm hey. faithful to the 90 gang, man. We are, uh, we are foregoing our normal routine. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And today we're just gonna talk the talk. We're a gonna wrap recap. Up. A we're, wrap gonna do, up. we're gonna do a wrap up. It's been so much cool R and B shit going on. Two weeks of cool shit. Two cold weeks of cool R and B shit. Yeah, yeah, we gotta talk about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And and our first stop. Where are we going? Where are we going? It's gonna be the twenty twenty four. Twenty twenty four. Grammys. Great show. Great show. Great show. I'm saying amazing show. That was an amazing show. Yeah. I enjoy watching. Listen, me and a fan, we watched it. And I'm not like, there's always something. You know, there's always like a, ah, why did... Right, right. Great show. Great show. I agree. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'd like to get into the winners, though, because, you know, this is R&B Money Podcast. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get to these winners. Talk about these, you know, these R&B winners. And listen, everybody that was nominated... Congratulations. Congratulations. Because that in itself is an accomplishment. You're winners, in my book. You should get trophies for that. Um, let's start well, you off get with certificates, right? You get a nomination uh, certificate. You get a nomination right? certificate and a, and a medal. Okay, and okay. a medal. Okay. Yeah, but there should be like a small little trophy, especially if there's R and B album of the trinket. year. You get a trinket. R and B album of the year, a and then joint? you're one of the producers and writers on the album. Yeah. And wins. All right, listen, I might start giving them my candles. Give them the candles. <laughs> we got to give out something because. <laughs> The Valentine. We'll talk to Harvey about this. It smells amazing, too. Best R&B song. Okay. The nominees were Coco Jones, I See You. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Haley Angel. Haley, is it Haley or Haley? I want to say that right. I think it's Haley. I think it's Haley, right? Yeah. Yeah. Haley is, has got a thing to it, right? I mean, I just, Hallie I grew, up, thing I grew up on Holly Berry. Haley. So I think, when every time I see that name, yes, I, I just Halle, think Holly Berry. Okay, okay. We, we, Halle Berry. We'll put that shit in the quote on it. <laughs> uh, Robert Glasper featuring mm-hmm. Sir and Alex Isley, Back mm-hmm. to Love. What a song. Amazing song. Uh, Scissor Snooze, Victoria Monet, Oh My Mama. And the winner was Scissor Snooze. Can't say nothing about that. <laughs> snooze is, listen, Snooze is amazing. Super amazing. Yeah. And I mean, that, I mean that, listen. Back to Love. Special. Yeah. Oh my mama. You can't even get a, you can't get away from no, it. No, you can't get yeah. No, oh my mama. So all these are great, oh my mama was a movement. These are great songs. Great songs. These are great songs. Great. I see you. That was a that was a super viral yeah. TikTok. That yes. was everywhere. Angel is just I, you know what I like Angel. You know why I like Angel in this category? Because it's like it's a classic. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a real classic record mm-hmm. and she is a straight ahead bona fide flat footed singer cold blooded cold blooded shout out to SZA I mean shout out to Babyface shout out to Babyface shout out to Leon shout out to Leon yeah from the production yeah, and yeah. you know mm-hmm. the music mm-hmm. side and I met the young fella who also um, wrote and produced with them from the track side Christopher Riddick Dope. Tynes Christopher Riddick shout Tynes. out to that young brother hey, send me some records bro you got Grammys now, don't be. Best, what did I say, progressive? Yeah, where we at? Um, best progressive R&B album. Okay. Diddy, love album, uh-huh. Off the Grid. Mm-hmm. Dope album. Dope Terrence, album. Terrence Martin, James Fauntleroy. Nova. Nova. Special. Fire. Mm-hmm. Janelle Monet, The Age of Pleasure. Yeah. I just love that title. Yeah. I, yeah I'd yeah. vote for that title. James. Um, SZA, S-O-S. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, I always mess this up. Black. That's black. I just, I just, yeah, I, everybody I be wanting to say six. Six lakh. I be wanting to six say lack. it. Hey, six lakh. Hey, six lakh sound like six too, lakh though. doing it, baby. <laughs> it's got a little thing on it. Six lakhs came through this whole man. shit was crazy. Um, <laughs> since, since I have a lover. That's that, that title yeah. is incredible, too. Yeah. Um, and the winner, SZA. SZA. 
Amazing album. Amazing album. In my opinion, album of the year. What a body or we're gonna get there. We're gonna yeah, get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just my opinion though, right? Because it's we we're, we're gonna a, get there. We're in a subjective business. We're gonna get there. Right? It's, it's uh, okay. All here right. we go. Best R and B performance. <clears throat> Chris Brown, Summer Too Hot. Yeah. Some of my favorite joints. Summer Too Hot. Bang it up. Yeah. Woo. With the bubble butt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Coco Jones, I see you. Uh-huh. Fire, Robert Glasper, Sir, Alex Isley, Back to Love, Scissor, Kill Bill, yeah. Jesus Christ, yeah, yeah. Victoria Monet, How Does It Make You Feel, Heavy Category, Winner, Coco Jones, ICU, what a record. You get no argument out of me on that. What a record. Incredible record. I wouldn't have- She she sang her heart out on ICU. Heart out. I she wouldn't sang have- So R&B performance, she sang her heart out, man. I wouldn't have been mad at- any of the, I, no. I, I, I do. I mean, I, I, you know, I'll be going back that back to love. Just be that back to love. Be killing me. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no argument. Not a one. She earned that. Mm-hmm. Um, best traditional R&B performance. Babyface featuring Coco Jones. Simple. That album was fire, mm-hmm. by the way, Babyface. Good Absolutely. job. Kenyon Dixon, Lucky, Lucky, Fire, a joint, Super Fire, mm-hmm. <clears throat> PJ Morton featuring Suzanne Carroll, Good Morning, mm. Special, SZA, Love Language, yeah, that's my joint too. <clears throat> Victoria Monet, <clears throat> excuse me, Victoria Monet featuring Earth, Wind and Fire, and Hazel Monet. Yeah, Shout yeah. out to the baby. Yeah, yeah, got her Hollywood. nomination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby got publishing, baby. You know what I'm saying, baby? <laughs> Baby got mechanicals, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I love that we're doing that too now. You got to. That we including the kids. And you know what I mean? We letting them get get it early. I think get that it early. I think that, you know, those handouts, you know, I think we we come from a long line of, you know, well, I had to do it the hard way, you gotta do it the hard way. Right. We come from a long line of that, as yeah. opposed to, okay, I did that, so you don't have to do that, but you are gonna have to do this. Yeah. Yeah. No, we we have to start creating a different type of generational wealth. A different type of generational wealth, right? Because we've yep. had a, we've had a wealth of a lot of things that mm-hmm. aren't lucrative in the positive way. Talk about it. You know what I mean? We have yep. a lot of wealth of violence, a lot of wealth of trauma, a lot of wealth of a lot of foolishness. Yep. Let's now create the wealth of success. Yep. You know what I mean? As we continue to pass that on to our kids, and I, I love that. I love the fact that. Blue Ivy has a Grammy. Love that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And that yep. that that Hazel Monet has a nomination. It's what it should be, though. You know what I mean? We that sh- that was Stevie Wonder's daughter on Isn't She Lovely? You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, I I'm agree glad with that that's something that's, yep. you know. Who um what, the winner on this one was The winner on this um, one. PJ Morton featuring Susan Carroll. Good morning. Yeah. Yes, yes. Shout out to our brother, PJ. Shout out to PJ Morton. Yeah, yeah. Fire. Super fire record. Um, best R&B album. Mm. Mm-hmm. Babyface, mm-hmm. Girls Night Out. I love that album. Coco Jones. What I Didn't Tell You. Deluxe. Mm. Deluxe, you know, Deluxe is there. Emily King, Special Occasion. Summer Walker, Clear 2. Soft Life EP. Soft Life is kind of a bar. That's where the girls are now. Yeah, they're in yeah. the era. Victoria Monet Jaguar 2. Yeah. Yeah. Which was the winner. Shout out to Victoria Monet. Put in the work. She put in the work. Victoria I don't think people, has put in the work. They don't understand how long, how long it took for her to get here. Yeah. That was a real process. Like, this is not overnight. Mm-mm. A lot of you that are new to the discovery... It's just dancing now to own my mama. You have no idea. Right. You know what I mean? And so this is like, this is real. This is rooted in a real foundation of, you know, blood, sweat, and tears. Mm-hmm. Real foundation. Nothing. This isn't a TikTok, you know, no, I've, overnight I've, sensation. This is. I met Victoria <laughs> at least 15 years ago for the first time. Bro, we, just, we used to be. I'm talking about, it, 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 yeah, one bedroom apartment. One bedroom. Yeah. Might have been a loft in there. But it was for <laughs> folks show just one bedroom. Yeah. I was like, okay, all right, you go. You're going you to get somewhere, I'm telling you. Right. She got a lot of bedrooms now. <laughs> 
Yeah, she got the big house. Mug got a lot of yeah, 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 yeah. I, I seen it on the Instagram. So I seen it. You know, I seen it. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's, it's yeah, echoes and yeah, you, know, yeah. you know, the sound travels. You know, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You know, um, shout out to Vic, man. So awesome, so awesome. Um, let's go to best new artist. Okay. Cause come that was that was on. a dope one. Yeah, come Coco on. Jones, go, best new artist. Gracie Abrams. Yes, yes, yes. Fred again. Mm-hmm. Ice Spice. Mm-hmm. Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll. Noah. I don't want to say that wrong. I was gonna say Kahan. Noah Kahan. I'm gonna say Kahan. Kahan. Some, it could be Kahan. Kahan. Huh? Or just Khan. Or just Khan. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look. It's in a book. <laughs> Reading Rainbow. I can do anything. Okay. Uh, Victoria Monet. The War and Treaty. The War and Treaty. I'm not sure if you're tapped into them yet. I am not. They are so cold. I got to get tapped into them. They are so cold. It's a husband and wife team. Yeah. And the husband, from my understanding, was like a war vet. I want to say he was in the military, mm-hmm. and um, they're special. They're special. Mm. I got to get them. Real talk. They're special. Yeah. Well, the winner was Victoria Monet. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we talked again, about it. Yeah. Large hallways, mini bedrooms, sound travels. And, and, and this is what I'll say about that, too. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know anybody else's path all of the other artists that are in it. For sure. I can only attest to hers mm-hmm. of me seeing it, you know, as a first look yeah. direct to her. Mm-hmm. And I just, I commend her yeah. for not giving up. Cause you know, I say, I've said it mul- multiple times. I think the the difference between being successful and not being successful in whatever you do, is just not giving up. Yes. And she is literally the prototype of not giving up like she did not give up i i seen her go through all phases of the music business mm-hmm. and it never knocked her down or yeah. never was like ah you know what this ain't it for me yeah and she had a great album on the on the original jaguar yeah yeah and now nah, she covet happened all these things she's been and- cooking and just, kept, and just, and just kept, kept going, kept her hair down. And I don't, you know, and this is another thing. I don't know the criteria of when you can't be considered a new, a new artist. artist. But I do know this is her first major label album. Hmm. I don't know how that goes. Because, right. you know, I, I saw some of the people in the chatter of, oh, well, how is she best new artist if she been out? Well, I don't know how that goes. Hmm. Personally, because are the other ones albums? It has to be considered an album in order for you to be or mixtapes, right? So I, that's what I'm saying. I don't know how that goes, but we will look that she, up. She's very deserving, in my opinion, Love of that. that award. We also got some R and B in uh, in Song of the Year. Mm-hmm. Come on, come on. Which I believe all these, you know, Billie Eilish. Uh, what was I made for? Mm-hmm. Monster mm-hmm. record. Yeah. Uh, Dua Lipa, Dance the Night, John Baptiste, Butterfly. Butterfly. He's just dumb talented. Yeah, yeah he's special. He just, I don't he's even special, like man. him. He yeah. just get on my nerves. I don't even like him. Lana Del Rey, <laughs> A&W, good. Yeah. Miley Cyrus, Flowers. Love that song. Incredible. <laughs> Olivia Rodrigo, Vampire. Man, he always want to act like he knows Spanish. I have to say it the right way, baby. Cause Scissor, I would definitely just say Rodrigo. Kill, <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Scissor, kill, Bill, <laughs> and Taylor Swift, anti-hero, um, and that winner was Billie Eilish. Yeah, great record, great record. It's that's an R and B record. I'm I'm still fighting for, it. and this is why in this category, I'll say this: Kill Bill, in my opinion is one of the best written songs I've heard in my life. In my life. In your life? It scares me. No, no, listen. As a man, it scares me. Because this is my thing of how you should, to me, Mm -hmm. once again, subjective opinion, all these things are, the way I rate 
music is how it makes me feel. Of course. Not how it makes nobody else feel, mm -hmm. how it makes me feel. Mm -hmm. And like I said, this record feels like a thriller to me mm -hmm. because of what she's saying and how it all ties in and the emotion she evokes from what she's going through. Mm -hmm. And truth of the matter is, think about really what she's saying. It should not be a pop hit. Right. You don't think that it would be a pop hit. Yeah. She's talking about killing some things. She's talking about double murder. You got to put them down sometimes. No, you, you don't, actually. No? <laughs> don't, don't kill the ex and yeah. his new girl. Like, just... Somebody, somebody got to go. I would say get over it. <laughs> but... <laughs> But to, but to me though, that that song just holds a different a different type of um, space for me because I just know how I felt when I hear it, yeah. or how I feel when I hear it, and to me that makes it where I don't think nothing should be a record like that. To when, me, when, to when, me, you know, when I, I'm with you, and when I heard it, I thought it was, I thought it was, of course, creative genius. I thought mm -hmm. the way it was written was just amazingly done. Um, it still felt like. It still felt cute to me, though. I in the don't, sense I of, don't feel cute. Because <laughs> no, it still felt bright. Because it's still a bright record. A bright it's record. not a dark record. I get record. it. And that's probably why it's worked so it well, though. It translates on the other side. It has the, the it's, dark undertone. It's disguised. Yes. Under yes. the... Yeah, under the Sesame Street but that's bright what lights. I'm saying. It's like, that's, oh, we just sing I'm gonna kill my ass. What, what did you say? That's why it's so <clears throat> fucking great to me. I think. But when I heard that. When I heard that, what was I made for by mm -hmm. Billie Eilish? I was, I was, I was moved. Like I was, like, I was, you know, I was stuck listening to the record. Yeah, I was stuck, and I was like this tone, um, of course, melody, and of course the words. Like it's just, yeah, it, yeah. it's, it's like. I mean, you can't no, go it's, wrong. It's special. Like, no, you you can't. You can't. You go can't. Wrong. I'm just saying, but my yeah. personal, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my yeah. personal pick would have been Kill Bill because I just I feel that you know that record is at, at the highest level for me. Um, album of the year. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There was there was some you know we had some people in there. We are gonna go straight there. We are gonna go album. Okay, let's go. <clears> let's let's go. Let's, no, no, let's go. Let's go. Let's have it. Let's have it. You get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Album of the year. Uh, Boy Genius, the record. Mm hmm. Janelle Monae, Age of Pleasure. Mm hmm. John Baptiste, World Music Radio, Lana yes. Del Rey. Yep, yep. Did you know that there's a there's a tunnel under Ocean Boulevard? <laughs> That's fire. Uh, Miley Cyrus, Endless Summer Vacation. Mm -hmm. Olivia Rodrigo, Guts, <laughs> SZA, SOS. Yeah. Taylor Swift, Midnight's. Yeah. Winner Taylor Swift. Yeah. I don't agree. I don't Not agree. for for me. For me, yeah. once again, for me, yeah, you know what I mean. I, I think it was a great album. Did I feel like it was album of the year? No, because once again, I felt like SZA had album of the year to me. I felt like SZA had so many standouts, right? That has to ultimately lead to the best body of work, right? If you have that many call out right. records from right. an album, yeah, yeah. like. My kid, my my daughter is SZA fan club times a thousand mm -hmm. from this 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 album right here. Yeah, gone. Yeah, no, she 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 did something. She did something amazing with this with this project. It's a full project. Is she really like? You could you could feel what she was going through mm -hmm. this whole album mm -hmm. and just the way it's written. And it's not, and you know, you know me. I'm, I'm an advocate for all things R and B, mm -hmm. but it's not fully just an R and B album. It's not at all. It's not at all. It's hip hop, yep. R and B, pop. It's everywhere. It has but it's still all cohesive. of these things, but it's cohesive. Still cohesive. Yeah. It's like she doesn't lose mm -hmm. herself yep. within this album, where it's like, oh, I'm just trying to make all these people happy. It's mm -hmm. just like, no, this is just who I am. And I think that, and I think that. And I, I don't even think this conversation is even against Taylor. I think Taylor made a great oh, album. She makes great yeah, albums. She, she makes, makes great, great music. She makes great music. But I think what this album did for SZA and where it placed SZA in the conversation overall right. as a world superstar mm -hmm. speaks to the weight yeah. that that album holds. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. I think we've 
we've we've seen we've seen Taylor in stadiums for a good little while now. Right. We've seen her at the top of the charts for quite some time now. She's been in the world um the world music dominance conversation for for quite a while. She right? her, yeah. Um but this the weight of this SZA album propelled her into a whole nother world. The a whole nother top world. Three of that conversation. Yeah, yeah, no, she up there. She's when you mention now from from this and listen, I, <clears throat> people can say what they want. Yeah, but now when you mention the top women yeah. in music, because mm -hmm. yeah, she's ab absolutely in the top artists too for right. sure. But women have been kicking everybody's ass, I'm and when you women, I mean when you when you mention women, she's in there. When you mention Rihanna, Beyonce, Taylor Swift, SZA has SZA now has entered that entered conversation that realm. And that's tough. That's, the, that's it's really hard to get into that space. That's the weight of that album. And that's, that's what that how album good did. That album. And that's why for me it's like yeah. the power of that album can thrust you into that. Right. <sighs> shout out to Top Dog Entertainment. Shout out to that. Shout out to Top Dog. Shout out to Punch. Come on, man. Shout out to those amazing young black men black doing their thing. Huh? Doing their thing. Not missing the beat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, Manny Smith. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the guys that are involved over there with all things that have to do with TDE, like that shit is special. Yeah. That's just special for them to to propel her into that type of space and for the songs, you know, what she did to get there. And it, so that that's my, you know. It is a testament that's my take to, on that. I want to say this to artists out there um, and songwriters and producers and A&Rs and labels. It's a testament to taking your time and doing something. Yes. 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 There's, 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 hey, they be, they be attacking my dog Punch on Twitter. They be attacking Punch because they say Punch it be holding up the albums. It's, it's. But that's great A and R. It's you, great A and R. You will get it when it's right. I forgot. Shout out to Mix by Ali too because yeah. that that man is amazing as an engineer and a mixer. You will get it when it's right. Yeah. 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 And the results are. I yeah. have to say. Yeah. Now you're in that space, but. While we're here, mm -hmm. right? Like, let's have a real conversation of about how these awards are won, though, right? Because we're gonna talk about album of the year. While we still at album of the year, and you know, there was there was also the moment in the awards where Jay Z mm -hmm. spoke on the fact that Beyonce don't have no album of the years, yeah. and in my opinion, the reason that that happens that a that a lot less urban artists black. Yep. Mm -hmm. Don't have album of the year is because everyone can vote on album of the year. Mm -hmm. And what happens is now the disparity in how many voters are black or Spanish or of color mm -hmm. that that really, really listen to urban music. Mm -hmm. It's an imbalance. It's an imbalance. Well, there was a greater imbalance it was absolute greater before, imbalance before harvey came in yes yeah I, I, I want to say it, it went from like eight percent yeah, yeah to 28 percent. and he's come in and tried to since he's been the yeah, chairman since of he's Rams. been chairman to encourage yeah more of us mm -hmm. hey man get involved yeah. because this is a voting process yeah. no I, I mean I, I listen i had the conversations with harvey and with yeah. Valicia when Valicia was um still at the grammys mm -hmm. and how adamant they were about um, activating more urban membership. Yeah. You know what I mean? And really going out there and advocating for yeah. it. And just even calling me like, Jay, you know, since you're a member, you can yeah. get two people, you can give invitations and the members, and you know what I mean? And, and if you have enough, you know, uh, I, I don't know what the, the exact thing is, you have to have certain, a certain criteria to be, um, it's either be on an album or it's not only think it has to be a Grammy nominated album, mm -hmm. but I think you just have to prove that you actually work in the music business right. and can join Naris mm -hmm. and be a, and be a voting member. Um, and even for me, I've, I've been an advocate over the last few years mm -hmm. of just telling people like, yo bro, you got to join. Yeah. You got to find out. Yeah. Or you got to, you know, go, go to the website, go, you know, go to the recording at Academy website and try to figure out how to become a voting member because obviously when you're voting on these type of awards, mm -hmm. if the numbers are like this, it's less likely it is what it is. that we really have a real chance. Yeah. Even secure. when we have albums that should be 
Listen, I will that say should this. be album of the year. I will say this. Beyonce should have at least two albums of the year. I agree. Dangerously at, in at, Love and Lemonade. At, 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 le- at least. At the least. At the least. At the least. And and I and I understand I understand Jay Z's pain mm-hmm. in his speech, but I also felt like if I'm being honest. You know, I guess you're going to articulate it however you feel. You know, what's on your heart is you, you're going to drop it how you feel it. It is what it is. But it was, I, I, I felt like Dr. Dre is standing there. This is a black Grammy. And we are giving you the Dr. Dre Award for all the work that you've done. You know, the speed, everything that mm-hmm. goes along with that. Yeah, And... Um, I don't, I, I don't know if, if within that, within the speech or, you know, with, with within him advocating, uh, for the wife, I don't know if I ever heard the thank you in a sense for getting that type of award, a Dr. Dre award. Mm-hmm. I feel like, I feel like maybe, you know, him, him feeling that the wife had been slighted kind of, kind of stole the moment of what that award was about. You heard Frank Lucas? You know? You heard Frank Lucas? Oh, I know the Frank Lucas. You heard Denzel Washington? What did Denzel Washington say? What did he say? What did Denzel Washington say? Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, Denzel Jr. Jr. What did he say? He said a bunch of stuff, bro. About his wife. What did Denzel say about his wife in that movie? What did he say? They tried. To kill my wife. Yeah, but... When it's about your wife. I... Listen. Listen. The gloves are off. I understand. I under, I'm not saying I don't understand. We got to protect our women. Bro. We got to protect our women, but it also had a double effect, right? As he was, as he's protecting her, mm-hmm. he's all. It, it felt like he was also killing the the weight of everybody else's award because it was almost like these awards ain't shit, kind of vibe. Okay. Which is what I kind of got. But, so, uh, but then so we you, also go back to a man who, you know, had to watch his genre of music not get televised Grammys. I'm I'm, so I'm with him on in, that. So in his we got we gotta take we um, gotta take into account yeah. the lead up of all these things. Mm-hmm. Like you said, I, I boycotted, but I still watched it. It wasn't a great boycott, right? Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Right? Like so this is a build up. This is a this isn't just I made this decision tonight. This is, hey man, this happened. Look what happened with Will Smith. Mm-hmm. Look what happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, and my question to you is this: Killer Mike, his award. I, we had to find out through text. I, I agree with you on that. Still. So my my question to you is this: Is that a conversation that should be had with the the governing body of the Grammys? Is that a conversation yeah, where yeah, you say, yeah, yeah. hey, I'd like to sit down with you guys and try to understand X, Y, and Z and 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 really, you know, and get to the bottom of what I feel is wrong with this system. Right. Right. I mean, that that's definitely a, a, a way to go about it. Or is it, you know, I'm just looking at the weight of the award. I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm such a big Dr. Dre fan yeah. that if as anybody's a, giving me Dr. Dre anything, right? like, I thank you to Dr. Dre and for the for what the weight of this weight, the weight of this award means to have this given but, to me based he, on. He didn't <clears throat> say it the way you just said it, but he did shout them out. He did shout out Dre and Snoop and what, you know what I'm saying? Like, he he did. He did. He just said the way you just said it. Did did you did you feel it though? Because what do we? I mean, did well, you, you know me. I'm like you with the shit. <laughs> with the shit. So, I'm like, listen, if I'm Jay Z, I'm a billion strong, and I got forty seven thousand Grammys at the house. I want to know why but, there's not an album of the year one but, up but, on the mantle. But think about where you're able to speak from at a billion dollars Absolutely. strong. Absolutely, forty eight Grammys at the house. Right, 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 right. But it's it, nothing more powerful than getting up on that stage you ha- but, in front of all them people and saying it. It's just. <laughs> I, I get it. I get it. It's, That's what it, I'm saying. It's know? two part. It's two part. It is. It absolutely. You got to protect part. and speak up for your. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. 
Yeah. But it's also it's it's also it's also going to come at the expense of a few things. And I think it was maybe at the expense of the weight of the type of award he was receiving from Dr. Dre and at the expense like even I'll even throw um I'll even throw Miley Cyrus in there where it felt like a piece of her was like, I mean, it's just a Grammy, you know, whatever. You guys are excited. Okay, it's fine. I came to see such and such. And I'm like, we have Victoria Monet winning three. Yeah. She worked for that. And not such and such. She can't see Mariah Carey. Yeah. The other yeah, MC. There's yeah, that. Yeah. She, Victoria Monet worked for that. Like, hard. So, right. it's just, it's just a Grammy. You guys can be excited. I'm not, and I get that some people may feel that way. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. when you blanket it like that, in front of everybody, now it starts to, you know, matriculate down to everybody. Should I not be excited but I, I, about But I also believe award? that, I, not? I also think that some people are just disruptors too. Drake is a disruptor. Because Drake pretty much, not even pretty much, he said he uses his as a doorstop. He did. You know what I'm saying? On record. He, he did. On big records. You he know did. what I'm saying? So it's like. And I'm just so, like, I'm. Do you do both? Do you accept the award and say, yeah, and here's another door stopper. God bless you. What? You show up. You fly. You pay a lot of money to get here. If that's how you feel. To come on the award show to get the award that the voters, that all these people. Everybody's just stance to, is different. And just to say, yeah, another door, another sippy cup, another. Yeah. And the other part is. Or if it's that to you, why? Show up. Because sometimes you want to slap people with it. And sometimes, you know what I mean? Sometimes you want to go and drink your Hennessy out of it or your Ducé because you have your own liquor. And, you know what I mean? Sometimes you, listen. And on the other side of that, what does that mean to those young, those young producers, songwriters, singers, and all everybody else coming up who are... Here's a question, right? If you don't believe in Santa Claus, right? <clears throat> I don't. <laughs> you are, you're gonna be over somebody's house that's celebrating Christmas and getting their kids, helping their kids bake cookies for Santa coming and the reindeer and leaving milk out and all that stuff. You say, like, man, what the fuck y'all doing? Ain't no goddamn Santa Claus in this motherfucker. Man, they bought all them motherfucking toys. Peel that shit off, man. Ain't nobody. Are you gonna do that? I'm like, you might. <laughs> no. <man. laughs> Cause I've definitely done some wild shit when it comes to Santa. In my black household, <laughs> these motherfucking gifts is from daddy. Nigga, I bought this shit. Early. Me. <laughs> That's who. That's who. <laughs> so, yes. I, I, felt, I, it, I, I felt like it had. But I, I, I also that. does. I also don't think, which I haven't won a Grammy and I want to. Mm-hmm. I also don't think it cheapens when I win mine. Well, I'm just. I know the work I got to do. Uh, when yeah, I, and, and, I, and I feel like at one point I'm going to have my speech, right? Mm-hmm. It doesn't cheapen my Grammy at all that one man drinks whatever he drinks out of it mm. and another man uses it as a doorstop and another young lady says, hey, uh, I only came here to see Mariah. Like, that don't mean nothing to me gotcha. Gotcha. about that Grammy that I'm going to win. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. It just is what it is. Yeah. You know, and, and is it a flawed system? It is. Mm-hmm. I believe that it's a flawed system. Yeah. But I also believe that's a part of why our community has to get more involved Absolutely. in the system. Yep. So and that, we have somebody in the system who's from our community right. trying to get us involved. So we can so we can balance it out. I'm yeah. not even telling it that we need to get in so we can be, you know, 72% to their 28. No. No, I'm saying let's figure out, even if it's 50-50 and the, and the scales are even, which just, life ain't like that, yeah. but. Let's just get in. Let's get in. Let's get in. So then you can really have an opinion on it and say how you feel because I'm a voting member. Mm -hmm. So I say how I feel. I say what I voted for. I say what I would have voted for if I could have gotten into multiple categories. But, Mm -hmm. you know, the whole thing now is you get your your categories that you can vote into. Mm -hmm. But the but the big categories, everybody can weigh in on. Everybody can weigh in on that. And as another big category that I want to shout out, and I cannot forget, Mm -hmm. Songwriter of the Year. My God. T-Ron. My brother. I just talked to him, too. I said, man, where are my records at? 
We was down in Jacksonville. Yeah. I said, where my songs at? <laughs> he said, yeah, we got to get in there and just, you know, we do something together. I said, no. I just want songs. Send me. Send I want your songs. I want your songs, man. Man. And I'm going to tell you what I did. Your songs. I'm gonna tell you what I did. Yeah. <clears throat> First, I, I congratulated him, put him, you know, on the story. I called that man multiple times. Mm -hmm. He hit me, bro. I'm a, thank you, bro. Blah, blah. No, 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 no. I'm going to call you again because I need you to hear my voice telling yeah. you. Congratulations. Yeah. You did it. Yeah. I love you, brother. I'm proud of you. Give him the callet. Mm-hmm. I had to, though. Like, it did. was like, yeah. nigga, I, me and him played phone tag for about a day and a half. Yeah. And we finally got on the line. He sent me a voice note first. I, cool, 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 cool. I'm going to call you again because mm -hmm. I know you're busy. Yeah. Because, nigga, for this, yeah. you got to get that full congratulations, bro. You got to hear me say it to you. And don't disappear. <laughs> you know what? He ain't going to disappear. I'm just like, I gotta, nah, he, I he, he different. Me. He different. He different. So that's why even him winning. He No, exactly. Exactly. It it's one of us. It's one, it's it one of us. It everybody proud. Yeah, yeah. No, it's one of us up there. I don't know Easy. a nigga that was mad about yeah. T-Ron. No, nah, no. Nah, we was all. We, yeah, we, we all took a, a shot to that one. We what? all took a shot to that one. Yeah. Yeah. One of our guys. And he then we'll get to best rap album. You want to go to rap album? Let's let because because that was a thing. That was a thing. Killer Mike winning and Killer Mike being mid to late forties winning best rap album, which is considered you know a young man sport. If you listen to that album, that man is rapping his ass off. If you didn't understand it when he got the award, I pray you went and did your research. Do your research. Do your research. I pray yeah. you went and listened to yeah. that body of work. You know Harold Lily won another Grammy being on that album, right? I don't like Harold Lily. Harold is the greatest, bro. He's the greatest. Always bro. somewhere doing How does something he, great. So you just get another. Always somewhere doing something great. doing something great. great. Killer Mike, his album. Yeah. <clears throat> when I lift weights. Killer Mike's album. Yeah. I break my gym. Mm. My gym breaks. Because he put me in a mode. What? What? And when I say, he he say, he say, because I was rapping my ass off. He on there rapping his ass off. Rapping his ass off. I don't know what y'all thought. This ain't no rapidy rap. Nigga say <laughs> <laughs> this, this ain't no rapidy rap. <laughs> that nigga spitting. This ain't no rapidy rap. This ain't no vibe. This ain't no wave. No, no, he took his time. He took his time. Real songwriting. Real songwriting. This is art. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a student of the game. Yeah. Graduating. Hmm. Getting his bachelor's then his master's, <laughs> and then his PhD. Yeah, yeah. This is that. Yeah. Certified monster. Yeah. If you you don't get that, man, shit. It's another rap Grammy I want uh, to shout out. Best melodic rap performance. Who got that? Won by Lil Durk Ooh. and J. Cole. Ooh. All my life. I. You know why I like that? You know why I like that? Because I like that for Dirk. I love that for Dirk. I like that for him because of the message in that record. Yes. I like yes. him for winning for that. For that record. For that record. Yes. For wanting to be something different. For wanting to wanting be something to, to, to wanting to be better. Wanting to be to better. To want to better himself. And so I spoke about this in in my um in my episode, mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you know, it was a a moment where I spoke about me helping to uh, discover Chief Keith. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Lil Durk was signed after that discovery, right? To Def Jam, right? No ID signed him, mm -hmm. right? And he had his major record deal. Nothing really came of it. They, you know, however it works out at mm -hmm. labels. Mm -hmm. Lil Durk could have went away. Stayed at it. Stayed at it. Stayed at it. Went independent. <clears throat> yep. Stayed on his grind. The mixtapes went crazy. Built all that up. Ends up doing the deal with Alamo. Mm -hmm. 
with Todd, and then Juliet came over. Talk to talk. Talk to talk. And what they've built and 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 going after it, and even just even being in a situation where somebody will submit, the label will submit a record for mm -hmm. you. Because we didn't talk about that part. Like the submission of records. Labels have to, your label has to submit your records too. Yep. Or you have to, somebody in your team somebody has, has to, to submit yeah. your records. It's part and of the campaign. And there's yep. a campaign that's involved yep. with people, the voting members knowing you have this music out. Absolutely. So that you even get the nomination. Get on the radar. So yeah. shout out to Alamo Records. Yep. Shout out to Juliet for having, you know, the, 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 the uh, for foreseeing it and, and having, a, you know what I mean, her mind in, the, in that place to say, you know what? This should be submitted. This should be. We should it, go after this. This is a Grammy Award winning record. You know what I mean? And and hey, Dirk, it's going to be some some work that got to get done because everybody don't just know you. Right. Because that's the other that part. that space too. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Where, yeah. bro, you have to, it's like anything. It's like running for office. No, it's not like running for office. It, it is, is running, running for office, office right? Yeah. Like you got to yeah. go campaign your records just to get the nomination. It, because there, there are, there are, um, there are divisions you know what I mean? There are territories. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's East Coast. There's yeah. West Coast. There's down yeah. South. And there are different yeah. people yeah. that are running these different sect sections and sectors um, of the different r and I mean, the different Grammy um, regions. Yeah. There, that's the word I'm looking for. And so it would behoove you yes. to go and campaign and, campaign and mm -hmm. see all those people mm -hmm. just to raise your hand. Yeah. Say, hey, guys, I got some cool stuff out, man. I just yeah. want to make sure it's on your radar. Right. Nah, that's that's simple. And then another another recipe to that is too, when you're making these albums, sit with all the people you're making the album with and, and make, make sure, sure they're, they're voting members. Make sure they're voting Because you can vote for yeah. yourself. And if you know, especially in, in urban music is a is a reason why they've been this on this whole thing where they don't want to give out all those multiple Grammys to all these, you know, uh, writers and producers that are on R and B album of the year, or which everyone that plays a part should get should a get damn a, Grammy. Should, should get a Grammy. That's Everybody the, should get a Grammy. If you're if you win, you should get a Grammy. You should actually yeah. get the hardware, yeah. right? So get everybody that's it. If it's thirty people on this album, sit them down. That's thirty votes. It's thirty votes. Every single person. Hope y'all listening, because this is not rocket science. No. No, y'all all went to school. You remember running for class president? Get some candy, nigga. <laughs> Tell him you're going to try to figure out how to... I'm going to try to get us more recess. Extend recess. <laughs> Longer lunch. Longer lunch. <laughs> I'm with the people. That's really what that shit really is, is, though. Like, you really got to get to it. Yeah, yeah. You got to get yeah. to it. The marketing doesn't stop. Yep. The the promotion doesn't stop. It's, it's the same thing. We've said this before. When Tyler, the creator... He has the viral clip that talks about how how you gonna put out a, a album and only promote it for the first week. Talk about it. Like I've been promoting this album for the last two years. And God, not gonna stop. This Keep is mine. promoting. This is mine. You know what I mean? I got three songs out right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Thank me for that. Mm -hmm. Before the streets. Yeah. The day after. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep promoting them songs. And I'm going to put out some more songs. And I'm going to keep promoting those for the album that's coming, Conversations with Women. And mm. this candle mm. Conversations is with available. Who? who you talking to? Contra what? Women. Mm. With the mm. women. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because the man he talking to. You say woman. one woman. The women. Conversations with women. women. You know what I mean? Okay. It's a round table. You want your house to smell like the Valentine? Talk to him. Mm -hmm. Get the candle. Mm -hmm. You know, this is this is 100% marble. Yeah. Not, not, yeah. You, how, you know, no, yeah. not, huh? not, huh? this ain't no hotel smell. Yeah. You hear this? <laughs> that thing is what, it's that, strong. <laughs> it's that strong. sound. I was like, what are you trying? <laughs> listen, listen. What you, that's that, what go down when they when turn you the light this off. candle, you should hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that comes with the Grammys. That's what the, you know what I mean? And play and play slow. <laughs> play when we you, know, talk to talk. you hear me? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. you know. We play play before the streets, mm -hmm. and after you finish, play. Thank me for that. Thank me for that. <laughs> On the day after, because I, <laughs> I taught her patience. Yeah, I taught her when and how to say shit. How to say shit. Ruben, 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 shit. Ruben, Ruben, turn it up. Nigga. <laughs> I'm trying to just be still. So yeah, that's that's the Grammys. Shout out to uh, Tyler one for water too. I, you know, I love that record. I love that record. I was with Shaka last night. 
Mm-hmm. Was it last night? Yeah. And we were at um, the club at this week. We were at this dinner spot. I, I can't call it by name. And then he said, you need to come upstairs and hear this. And it's the style of music that water water is. Mm. I'm thinking water is Afrobeat. Right. It is not. It is something else. And I can I, I'm, I'm so upset that I can't think of the name right now. Mm-hmm. Um, if somebody, somebody looking that up for me. What type of music that is, it's... Um, I'm going to look this up. It's not Afrobeats. And I will say this. She won for Best African Music Performance. I think she should have been in the R&B category with that song as well. Just me. I That's just that's my opinion. I think, you know, she should have got that look as well. But I know you got to be selective with your submissions. I'm, I'm, I'm a piano. I'm a piano. That's the sound. A-M-A-P-I-N-O. I'm a, pia- I'm a piano. Like, like, I am a piano? No, no, I'm a, A-M-A. Oh, I'm not, a. Not I'm a, I'm a. Well, you know, the kids now, that's how they pronounce yeah, everything. Yeah, they say it like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a piano. That's the, that's the style of the music. That's the style of the music. It's okay. a whole different thing, right? Oh, it's, okay. it's, it, it's a, it's a, the nuance is slightly different, right? And we're upstairs. <clears throat> we go upstairs. It's a Tuesday. It's wall to wall. Hmm. It's dark. And this music is playing. And they are going crazy yeah. and I'm like and he looking at me like this I said I need to know who's doing it <laughs> I need to know who's doing it and I need it now yeah yeah because it's the it's it's now the the new thing the it's new now thing. the next thing yeah okay and I never I didn't understand what he was saying until he took until he said come upstairs and hear this I was like, I need it. It's incredible. It is incredible. Yeah. And her song is, is, that's why her song is what it is to me. That's why it feels like that to me because, you know, it's, 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 it falls in line with that I'm a piano, whatever that thing is, it's, I need it. I got to be involved. So Army money's involved. I got to take a trip. <laughs> Go really I was just soil. talking to Tab. I was just talking to Tab about that. Mm-hmm. Me and Tab was talking about because uh, he's going over to Africa. I mean, he's obviously his yeah. family is South yeah. African, yeah. so but yeah. he was telling me about. It. He was like, "Bro, you gotta." I want to go with Shaka. Shaka's Shaka go. always Shaka always has like his stories and yeah, yeah. and where he goes yeah. and his and like, bro, you gotta do this and then you gotta do that. Oh, no, no, I'll, I'll take you. You gotta. Like he really, you know. Yeah, no, no, he's dialed in. He's yeah, for sure. He's for sure. the guy. Um, all okay, over that's, the world. What, what, I said what, all what, over the world. Okay, so that's Grammys. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's so let's let's touch on. I know where you're going, bro. Bro, we got to go to Super Bowl, bro. I know where you're going, bro. We got to go to Super Bowl, bro. I know. R&B. It was an R&B halftime show. Well, before we get to the halftime show. Before we get to the halftime show. Let's talk about the doo-wop first. Let's, 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 let's go in, in order. All right. Let's go in order. Come on, baby, because it was a big night. It was a, you know what I mean? It was, was a doo-wop a, the night before. Shout out a, Mike Gardner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a, you feel me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, AG Entertainment. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to my brothers, Neo, Mario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Myself. <laughs> myself. Shout out to me. Shout out to me. <laughs> yes. uh, hey, you niggas had a cold event. We were in the theater at the Sahara. Wall to wall. Wall to wall. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all look like zoo animals up there. I had to walk to the back a couple of times. I'm like, you know what? This feels a little weird, but you know, it's aggressive. People were saying in the comments, "All oh, these niggas on stage." I said, "Guys, our tables were on the stage. The tables were on stage. It wasn't yeah, just yeah, random people. Our yeah, tables yeah. were on stage. That's yeah. why the people were on stage behind." I was trying to figure out a way to pick my my couch <clears> throat> up throat> and put it behind <laughs> the curtain so I could really just have me a good time back there. <laughs> I know you were too. I was like, so wait, can I? No, fuck it. <laughs> you, kept, you kept leaving like, this, man, I'll be back. Uh, let's say what you was doing. Um, um, man, just, you know, it's such a dope moment. And I yeah, think, yeah, yeah. you know, the beauty of that moment to me was, you know, um, shout out to DJ Infamous, mm-hmm. my guy. Mm-hmm. Um, and shout out to uh, 
DJ a fly guy. And everybody was just trying to figure out how it was going to go down. And I was like, bro, we just go, we just go song for song. Yeah. Everybody yeah. just do a song, man. Yeah. Let's just kill all the who go first, who go yeah, last, yeah, who. Yeah. Let's just, and everybody looked at me and was like, hell yeah. That shit was jam. And then Infamous was like, but do this though. I said, I like your style. I like your style. We're yeah, gonna do that. Shit was jam. And it and it just turned into it turned into a cool, really cool R and B celebration. Yeah, yeah. The people on the internet wanted to know why you were looking at Neo while he was singing like that. Why he was like they don't He was know. cooking. See, and that's why I say that to you. Because what people don't realize about this man is that he is a celebrator of talent. Yes. Of all things. Like he said, of all things. Yeah. So if you get busy, that nigga tank going to dial in. And it may look funny to you on the internet because you not there and that whole thing. I seen it, you know, you know me, I be reading the comments. I'm like, they really don't get it. That's people who ain't, who ain't, who've never been looked at like that before. Hmm. Hmm. Because when, when, if you've ever done something great. Yeah. Somebody's looked at you like. Nigga. Nigga. They right. didn't say it. They had right. to say it. Right. The face right. said it. Like, right. 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 Like they want to fight you or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. Nigga. Yeah. You dunk on a nigga. Niggas like. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. That's. That's just universal. Right. But let people, alone yeah, they don't get that. Uh, being a musician yeah. and, you know, like that whole thing. We got our own. Yeah, like, that's a whole other thing. We got our own. We got our own. Start you know doing what I'm saying? That. <laughs> the ugly faces. We got, a, we yeah, got our yeah, own set of, set of stanky faces yeah, and, and, yeah. and motions that, um, but that's, you know, that's just a celebration of of art, man, and guys who, who I appreciate that do it at the highest level, bro. Right. I'm talking about Neo, bro. One of Mario. the greatest songwriters. Mario, one of the greatest singers. Like, yeah. what are we talking about? Right. We're going to celebrate that. Yeah. <clears throat> With no ego, no pride connected to it. Yeah. Because what's theirs is 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 theirs. What's mine is mine. Mm -hmm. It's so much room for all of us to stand on that stage and shine and have a good right. time. And appreciate each other. And appreciate each other. Yeah. So much room. Yeah. And that's, you know, and that's the beauty of what I think, where I think R&B is going right now. I think we're finally getting to a place where, you know, we don't mind standing next to each other again. Right. And I don't even know if it's again. Have we ever truly stood next to each other? Yeah, I mean. I mean, As a community. <clears throat> like an R&B community. Like, let's let's keep it a buck, bro. Like, I mean, I, I just think that when I say standing maybe, together. Maybe when they did the Black Men United song. No, no, no. Not that. Not, you will know. Not, not like <laughs> you that. You know what I'm saying? Not so, no, more, of a ter more in terms of working together. Because there were, like, it didn't get integrated until where, like, it's like an R&B artist and a rap artist and such mm -hmm. where things were integrated. It's tour and songs. But now it feels like other R&B artists are asking other R&B artists to be on their songs and other yeah. R&B artists yeah, are saying yeah. let's all go on tour together yeah. as R&B artists and starting to figure out how to how to you know how to band together in some way shape or form but there's the always been see it. there's always been I mean and I think for the guys you know it's been more of a separation because you know it's high school it's the girls it's high school it's always the girls yeah, yeah, yeah. once you get your girl you're like you can't talk to them no more you can't talk to me. you can't cheer for him no more what are you doing Y'all, my fans. Yeah, it's always been about the ladies. It's so, weak. yeah, that's I think, weak, I think we're realizing that there's about a billion women in the world, and you, you can't, can't have, have them all. all. You can't have all of them. Just don't think like me. You can't have them all. That's why you know. That's, that's why we work well. <laughs> <laughs> but then after the doo wop, <laughs> no, 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 why are you in the doo wop? Don't we, you know what? I'm with... He stayed at the host hotel. What were you on, bro? I'm not gonna say what the hotel was because I don't want to do that. Because, because I already said it. Because, <laughs> because I wanted to be. He just wanted to go downstairs. He just wanted to go downstairs. Go downstairs. He just wanted to go downstairs. Listen, right after us, it took me it was an hour to get there from my luck. Really right, nice hotel. Right after, right after that, it was it was two chains and Lil Wayne. <laughs> right, right. The night before. It was it was Jeezy, Jeezy yeah. and uh, what's the big fella? Rod Wave. Rod Wave. Rod Wave. All at my hotel. 
All in the lobby. Y'all ain't even had no restaurants over there, though. Yes, we do have restaurants. (laughs) I asked you, what was the food option? You was like, yeah, it's like a little taco spot. No, it's just the place that stayed open late. Very good street tacos there. That's the only place. I'm in Las Vegas. I don't want street tacos. That's the only place that stayed open late. You feel me? I want lobsters. Listen, man. Those places close early. As y'all would say, out in Maryland and D.C. Out Maryland. You hear me? I DC want joke. shrimps big as your back. <laughs> big as your back. <laughs> Slim. <The> shrimps. <laughs> That's what I want when I'm in Las Vegas, Hey, Charlie, the crab legs was this long, Joe. <laughs> Paul. Niggas was lunching. Just, oh, my God. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> hey, listen, man. When I go to Las Vegas, I want fine dining, regardless top of, of where I'm staying. Cuisine after the doo wop. <laughs> there was a Sunday. <laughs> there was church on Sunday. <laughs> yes, it was at the halftime of the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, shout out to my brother Warren. Got me and my father tickets. Yeah, that's so dope. Shout bro. out to my brother Warren, so man. Dope. I man, that that just amazing, man. I love you from the bottom of my heart for that, man. Thank you. And we were in the club level. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. Just right there. Yeah. Anytime we felt like going to get a beverage, yeah. we could go get a beverage. Yeah. Anytime we wanted to go get us some 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 shrimp cocktail, yeah, yeah. we could go get us some of that. Any, Speak any, on anytime Speak we could on. wanted Speak to go get it. some Caesar salad, we could go do that. Yeah. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because you they, couldn't get that at your hotel. No. <laughs> No, they didn't have. They didn't have shrimp cocktail. They didn't have that. They had other <laughs> things. Yeah. I'm trying to talk about Sunday and the soup, the church at halftime. You know, I just like. Why you, yeah, you know stay, what I mean? lay off yeah. my hotel, it's, man? It's cool. I, gave, you're not staying there anymore. They gave me a deal. <laughs> you're not going to stay there anymore. I know it. Your wife's not. I gonna, will not. <laughs> your wife's not going to allow you to stay there again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> No, 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 no. That was that was that was amazing, bro. That you got to have that experience with your pops, bro. Man, with my pops, man, and then to see, you know, to see Usher um, sing R and B music mm-hmm. at the halftime of the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, really, it was an Usher concert, and a football game was going on. Let's keep it a buck. Let's man. keep it a thousand. Thou wow. Usher was having a show, mm-hmm. and they let him play some football. And they let him play some football. <laughs> Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Like, here's what I'll say. I have wishes when you when it's after the fact. Everybody always has after the fact brilliance, mm-hmm. right? Ooh, I would have. But he didn't miss in in his um execution of that show from top to bottom. Yeah. Something you pointed out earlier. He sang the whole thing live. Live. Let's start there. And I don't know about nobody else, right? And I'm not going to claim to know every single Super Bowl show. No, not going to know. Halftime show. I don't know. I don't know. But I know this. Singing at the Super Bowl. Come on. Live. Live. On live TV. Talk about it. it, And singing, singing cut up pieces Mm -hmm. of your songs. You're not, you're not even going with muscle memory. You're not even in. You're not even you can't able go to get on cruise into a control. rhythm. You can't go on cruise control. You can't jump into a rhythm, especially now. Think about this. He has a residency. Yes. Where he gets into a rhythm mm-hmm. with all of these songs. Takes a minute to yeah, minute and a half, two yeah. minutes in. Oh, yes. we, we cruising yeah. now. Now I'm into none of that. These because he's 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 doing twenty thirty years of of music. Yeah. In 12 and a half, 13 minutes. 15. He, he, he you, get 15? He, he, he you get 15? He got 15. You get 15? No. Usher got 15. Usher got 15. Okay. You get 12. Oh. Usher got 15. Oh, okay. He came out with the extendo. Okay. Yeah. okay. All, right. All, right. All, right. All right. 15 minutes? All those hits? And, he, and listen, and he still missed some. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. didn't sing Climax. Right. Huh. I didn't even think about that. I needed that. Wow. I didn't even think about that. That's my only wish. Mm-hmm. I just want to, I just want to climax somewhere. Well, you know me. I want Can You Handle It at the Super Bowl. <laughs> hey. That would have been fire. Can, can we get some seduction? Hey. Seduction. <laughs> like, you know me. I'm ridiculous. Woo. 
You know what I'm saying? They're all it's all magic. Yeah, it's all magic. But you know, it gives people now. For me, it's like that was just a preview. If you never made it to Vegas, right? Mm-hmm. That's just a that's just a preview yeah. of what this world tour is gonna be like. Oh, you know, that's just about, a small he glimpse. He about to go crazy. Oh, he going crazy. He's he about to go already crazy. sold out. Yeah, no, the fact that the fact that he sang live, it was I felt like it was a statement. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? For sure. Because and he and and in the age of everybody attempting to sound perfect through all of the studio shit now. Mm-hmm. The other thing that happens when you in your attempt to sound perfect is that you lose feeling. Yeah. You lose feeling. Mm-hmm. You need the crack every now and then. Yep. You need, you know what I'm saying? Like, you need the note that's off. Yep. Yep. For people to really feel what you're doing. And that's why, you know, to me, I think that when people talk about why music isn't the same anymore, a big part of that is all of the things in the in the computer that make you sound so much Everybody's better. perfecting everything. You know what I mean? Everybody wants to sound like a computer. Hmm. Usher was like, no, 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 no. I'm human. I'm human. Alicia Keys, I'm human. I'm human. Like, these vocals are human vocals. Listen, we heard Alicia Keys crack at the beginning. So what? That's called singing. That's called, called singing, singing live. It's called singing live. That's what that's called. So what? Yeah. It's fucking Alicia Keys. Man, talk to talk. Put some respect on, on her, her name. On name. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You get up in front of <clears throat> millions and- Whenever millions, they call you. 200, 200 million people, they say, all together watch that. If they call you. They probably won't. They There's probably that. won't. You know what I'm saying? But and I'm not and I'm not saying that on some inner defense of no. This is what singing is. Yes, sir. Yeah. Live singing yep. is about emotion mm-hmm. and sometimes it's about mistakes. Imperfections. The beauty in those imperfections. I watch listen, I watch Mary J. Blige. We can go down the line. Not a perfect singer, but I dare you to follow it. You can't. I dare you to try. One of the greatest singers of all time, Stevie Wonder. He don't hit every single note. You kick your ass. Kick your ass. One of the greatest living are dead of all time. Of all times. He does not hit every single note. Yeah. So for me to watch Usher say, okay, you know what? I get this opportunity. I'm about to give him these vocals. And I respect it. And I'm a dance. And I'm a dance. And I'm a roller skate. And I'm a roller skate. And I'm an outfit change. And I'm an outfit change. And I'm going to give him all this R&B shit because you oh. know what? <clears throat> Taking my motherfucking shirt off. Listen, you know. They talked about, you know what I mean, the, the, the motherfucking titty pop years ago. Both. Yeah, both. Yeah, both titties both, out. Both titties out. You know, if Pause. You gonna, listen, if you're going to do this R&B thing. You're going to have to take your shirt off. I've been trying to tell you fools for a long time. There's a certain kind of shape. Certain kind of conditioning. Tuh. Yeah, you got to be in for a woman to believe that you are even capable of the things you're singing about. Mm-hmm. And Usher just confirmed that. Confirmed it at the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Shirt off. Hmm? Doors open, man. Hmm? <laughs> I said doors open, man. <laughs> <laughs> you should you should have seen them women in in the audience. They lost it. They lost it as they should. That's what they're supposed to do at an R and B show. <laughs> Honey, would you look at that? Man's got his shirt off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> show, show what them women was looking like in them, in them, uh, them motherfucking boxes. <laughs> yeah. Real R&B. Shout yes, out to Usher yeah. for yeah. his team. Killing that shit. Shout out. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to them for killing that shit, man. Shout out to our brothers at Villa Brothers. <laughs> Y'all did it, man. <laughs> hey, listen, shout out to Lil John. Lil John. Came out with the fly outfit <laughs> and in shape. <laughs> shout out to shout out to our brother. Um Jermaine Dupree with the pearly sock. Shout out to Lil Socks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to listen, I know what the socks say. Like the writing. It was the loafer with the sock <laughs> and the short that made you. You know, but, hey, listen. You, you, but listen. Hey, hey, but here's the other thing. This is what I'm going to say. say it. If you're going to show up, you got to show out. Everybody ain't going to respect your show out every time. But I'm going to leave an impression when I get there. You better be a conversation the next day. 
Jermaine Dupri is a conversation. Jermaine, the conversation over this. is a conversation. It's it's right now. It's still a conversation. What? Right now. Right now. To this day. Memes, everything. Everything. Listen, if they not <clears throat> talking about you, you didn't do what you, you were supposed, supposed to do. To. Talking. And Jermaine was only on stage for 30 seconds. <laughs> Y'all know what this is? I got a billion impressions. A billion impressions. <laughs> Y'all know what this is? Listen, I, I told him on this page. You know what I mean? I said, my dog wore the pearly socks. He definitely getting into the pearly gates. <laughs> them go, you know what I mean? Them go get you into heaven. Church. Church. Yeah. Yeah. Church. Come on. Now, nah, but they... Alicia, Luda, Luda came out, uh, killed it. Shout out to her. Shout out to her. Shout out to the Bay Area. She represented very well, very well. Her is just magnificent to me. What? She got her. She came out with her Prince vibe too. She was like, you know what? I'm this guitar. I'm gonna give him the Prince looks. She's just magnificent. Yeah, and she's so amazing. She's not even on that song. She's shout not out, even on that song. Shout out to Usher for that phone call. Yeah, seeing her on that stage with him was just like that was that was incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Um, and shout I mean, out to Luda. Did we shout out Luda? Oh, shout, shout out to Luda. Luda, Luda brought is, the Afro back. I want to say this. And then big ass boots. They don't give Luda. Oh, nah. They don't. The top five, top ten credit he deserves. Luda Chris will out rap a lot of people in your top ten. Here come, he motherfucker. will out rap that motherfucker can rap and when he gets on stage and starts delivering no let me say something now he's when, electric when luda walked on that stage when i say that stadium went crazy yeah 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 i think he knows he's a superstar but that stadium let him know he was a superstar yeah they let him know for sure yeah he went to, <clears throat> he went crazy he went crazy yeah and everything that I, like I was on this page, everything I saw him doing that weekend, everything he was tagged on, every time he, he's going crazy. Like Luda, I don't know what Luda's, I don't know what Luda's going through right now, but he's 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 a he's really having a moment right now. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Skin glowing, fro is picked out nice. Like yeah. it's a good time for Luda right now. Yeah, it's time for a record, Luda. It's definitely time for a record. It's time for a record. Yeah, it's time for a record. And if you for need sure. somebody to sing on it, like I'm not saying, <laughs> I know you got Usher. Like Usher, you know, that's your guy. You know what I'm saying? You got a guy. You can super all together. You know, I know he'll sing on it too. Shout out but, to the genius himself, Will I Am. Will I Am came through with the motherfucking helmet on. That's kind of like a helmet. I don't Kind of glasses. Kind of glasses. Kind of shades. Kind of. A, a glassy helmet. Nigga's a superstar, bro. You never. He's not from this planet. No. No. You see the car he's been driving around in? Have you looked on his page? He's, <laughs> he's not. I think he made it, too. I think he, he made, made it. He's not from this I think planet. He's driving the car he made. And he can make beats in it. He turned left. It's like, boop, boop, boop. Hey, fucking Will I Am, bro. Shout out to Will I Am, who I sat next to at my boy DJ's wedding. And he is the most interesting, funny guy. Genius. Genius. That I probably ever met. Genius. It's never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. It's always what? What? Because he say whatever's on his mind too. And then the way he breaks it down to you is like, what? <laughs> and then he look at you. I hate that that makes sense. <laughs> I hate that, Will. I hate it. And Will, if you if you you know if you want to send me some tracks too, I'd love that. Come on, we, Will. We've been supposed to work together for a long time, so. Just throwing that back out there. Um, but yeah, that, that, that. And shout out, listen, shout out to the numptuals. Hmm. Okay. Shout out to locking it in. Yeah. 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 On my biggest night, let me do something even bigger. Let me lock in. Lock this woman in. Let her know where we at. Where that we nigga, I should be out here. He like, nigga, I'm getting, I'm getting married. Where I stand. Let me know you where yeah. I stand. Let me let you know where I stand. Yeah. With all of this I'm getting, yeah. you matter the most. I respect it. I respect it. I respect it. And it was fly. So let's talk about this dumbass football game now. I don't, I don't want you to I don't want you to have to do that, man. I think no. I think you should just, you know. Let it burn. <laughs> I think that. Because, ah. and then they fired the defensive coordinator. Ah, man, 
<laughs> I'm not. I don't want to make it a racial thing. So, so I'm going to tell you my experience now because okay. we talked. We talked about yours. And you know what I mean. Okay. So, <clears throat> there was a moment that I went to Vegas and I was like, okay, I'm getting to this game. And then I had a moment where I said to myself, maybe I shouldn't go to the game. Because the last time I went to the game, I remember that. we lost. We were there together. We were there, yeah. right? So I'm thinking to my, because I would keep it funky. When we played Detroit, the Detroit Lions, I watched the whole first half, they mm. kicking our ass. And then I said, I'm turning off the TV. Mm. And I literally watched the game through the notes on my phone. Got it. When you like reading yeah. the, you know, mm -hmm. as it's going on, oh shit, yeah. we on the we on the twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I watched the game that way and we won. So I am a bit of a superstitious guy. You thought that so was I'm the like, magic. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna go. So we have a great friend, our our brother Marlon, mm -hmm. who made it made it <clears throat> happen for us. Um and I was able to go watch the game in the high roller ballroom. Talk to talk. Mm -hmm. High roller ball. You know what I mean? <laughs> Of the Wynn Hotel. They talk about it, yeah. You know what I mean? It's the only place we get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only way you even get in there is that mm. you got to gamble a certain amount of you money. Gotta, you know what I mean? It's just some other shit. That's the only way to do Vegas, to just let you know that. And you know, do your thing. he made sure I was in the building. The mistake I think I made is I wore this jersey. It's the same jersey I wore when we lost in Miami. You didn't, you didn't pick up on that when you put no. it on? No, because I'm thinking this is prime time. Well, you know, prime just lost. So <laughs> Man. <laughs> now you tell me this shit. <laughs> now you remind me. I mean, me. he won, but. <laughs> See? Now you remind me. He lost. <laughs> He's a he, winner. But when he played for us, he won. <clears throat> yeah. Right? But this ain't 94. Yeah. But it's 2004. Right? This is this 94. You feel me? You don't feel me? It's 30 years. You, you lost once in that jersey. I know, but I was thinking like the, and, the 30, though. And Prime only won four games. I was thinking about the 30. I know what you was thinking. 30 years. I know, but you, you, have, you was up against a lot. This was all in my head, right? But I'm not thinking, y'all lost in that jersey. You probably should have wore your Kaepernick. Because I got the Kaepernick, too. Which is a whole nother conversation. When I'm walking around in, in the Kaepernick. Right, mm. but maybe just maybe just a polo. Just, no, we're not wearing no polo because listen, I I had and I had maybe, and I had my forty nine er Kiff jacket on. You know what I mean? Them is limited. Th that 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 sounds more exciting than than picking a jersey from like. Man, this is Dion. It should have worked, but it <laughs> missed the first time. So that's why you should have taken it off. You right. should have known that. Yeah, I should have. I should have. So I got all the phone calls before the Super Bowl, as soon as we got in the Super Bowl. All my niggas from Kansas City. Shout out to my niggas from Kansas City, because listen, y'all niggas make great music, great, y'all got great barbecue, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and y'all got a great fucking football team. Yep. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm not the nigga to hate on nobody's team. Y'all yep. team is fucking great. Y'all might have the next GOAT at quarterback. Mm. If he win a couple more, he monster. Like, you what is the, he? What is have, he, three out of four? You have the GOAT at tight end. Close to. Over Grunt. Close to. Uh, right. They got it's kind of close yeah, to. Yeah. He yeah. close. They very close. One more. They very close. Yeah. Right. But probably so, for both of them. Yeah, no. No, Mahomes gotta do like a little more more. But then then uh then what Kelsey gotta do. Yeah. Kelsey yeah. just gotta get one Kelsey more. He shit. And then, here's the other reason why, you know, this is my opinion. Mm -hmm. This is my opinion. Okay. I just wish our tight end. Would have made that same relationship uh, choice because I don't think the NFL was gonna let her lose. Y'all can say whatever y'all want. Y'all call me as many haters as you want to, but one thing I know, one thing I've done for a long time mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is business. I understand the money that's been made, and that the money that's going to be made off of people wanting to see her have a celebration kiss with her boyfriend who just won a Super Bowl. Listen. If you want to go, everything is Googleable. It was really good for business. 
Y'all can go, y'all can go see how much more money the NFL then made since she's been part of the NFL. <laughs> since she's been part of the NFL. It's uh I'm not gonna argue with you, my friend. So when I got that phone call from all my homies from KC, <clears throat> I told everybody who called me about betting, I'm not betting against her. That's it's like, I, man, you crazy. That's that ain't got nothing to do. I said, listen, it's cool, but I'm not betting. That's what I said. I, well, I said her. I wasn't betting against her, for sure. I said, I'm not betting against Taylor Swift. But a guy told me, Warren Sapp, he said, you bet on that quarterback right there. You bet on the best quarterback on the field. Him. Before the game even he, started. He's the best quarterback on the field. It's, he didn't flinch. I mean, he's the best quarterback in the NFL. So he didn't flinch. Shit. He said, I'm not going against the best quarterback. Yeah. He's right there. That's who you bet on. Because it's going to come down to him. And it came down to him. Down to him. And it came down to him. I just want to know, though. Because the spread, the over and under was 47.5. Mm-hmm. You know what the score ended up being? 47. How y'all niggas knew that? Y'all was off 0. 0.5? 0. 0.5 don't even exist. Can't, nigga can't score 0. 0.5. Nigga can't score 0. 0.5. <laughs> A nigga can't even score 0. 0.5. They had the 49ers one and a half. How? And the over and under, over and under 47 5. How? That's just. You niggas is Houdini. How? You niggas, yeah, y'all just. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I don't bet on sports. Listen. But. Great football team. Play the slots. Oh, I'm, I'm saying all the funny shit and all the shit. It's cool. I, that, that's, you know, that's just me speaking from yeah. being a true fan of my yeah. team. Mm-hmm. But the the real, the the ultimate real is Kansas City is a great fucking football team. Amazing team. And y'all got great players on that team. Yep. And Shout out to my brother Travis Kelsey. Uh, we have a, you know, we're, we, we, we're partners in, oh, yeah, in yeah, our yeah. rewind yeah. Uh, hair in color the rewind. for men. Yeah, the rewind team. So shout out to Fat Joe. Yeah. Uh, a lot yeah. of our good buddy, you know, uh, 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 um, who else is on there with us? Tyson, Tyson Beckford. Beckford. Yeah. Um, um, you don't know the rest. You can. You I do know the rest. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yes, I do. That's okay. Another one. DJ Khaled is <laughs> there with us. You know what I'm saying? He got hair. Me and I have the best hair color for men. I have the dark. <laughs> That's what you want. Rewind. You, hair don't, want the, you don't want the charcoal? No, 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 no. You, the want the, you want the natural black. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tyson, his is the same, but Tyson's been mostly bald headed his whole life. Like he, he was, he had his hot moment when he was bald headed. He ain't had no hair. I got hair. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you want to go with the guy who actually has hair. Get the get the box with my face on it. There are more <laughs> benefits to to the box with my face on it. He get he get paid once more. you get it when you get his box. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> balls too. You don't want to get his. Jesus box. Christ. <laughs> I've been watching too much <laughs> of, of Cam and May. Cam and May? It is what it is. Shout out to them, man. Pause, man. I fucking man. You, love y'all show. You got to pause all I of that. I love y'all show, bro. Man, they, they and they got fucking OJ Simpson on there, bro. And Mark Jackson. Like, it's, they, they show What else do you want to shout out? I, I, I got to go. This is a good wrap up. Uh, <laughs> shout, out to, uh, shout out to Mike Epps and Shannon Sharp for uh, talking like men. I just wanted to throw that out there. Right. I just want to throw that out there. All right. Because right. I, right. I know Mike Epps. <laughs> Don't let that thing. I was like, bah, bah. please. I was like, <laughs> I was like, you guys yeah, think, yeah, yeah. you think he's a comedian? Yeah, no, no, no. Ain't shit funny. He is, the, yeah, man. Yeah. In his hometown? In his hometown? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad, yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely I'm, glad. I'm that. glad they were able, you know, of course, Shannon ain't no punk, so we're not, we're definitely not saying that. Nah, but they um, just came to an understanding as men. Men, that's like, it. Yeah, and yeah. I And I think that, you know, Sometimes you just got to be mindful. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But the, the other part that can too, be... though, is that <clears throat> these are in all of this that's going on. These are all comedians. A comedian should be able to be funny, even if it hurts your feelings. Sometimes, if I go to a comedy show, I want to be like oh, and laugh. I don't want. I I think I soft think, jokes. I think yes, but I also think that especially with. Shannon being as old school as he is, mm-hmm. 
you know what I'm saying? And from that, you know, from the part of town that he's from. Right. Like, you know, that. And he's not a comedian. Right. And, that he's, not, whole, and he's not a comedian. The whole, you know, and I don't want to go too far into this, but that whole using gay to tear black men down, it's like a, that's a thing. Yeah. And it can be a trigger for, you know what I'm saying? No, I get for, it. For, no, you know, I get it. That. And so it's, I, 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 I understand what you're saying because for me, it's like, tell your jokes, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I just, I can see how it can be triggering to somebody who's just, nah, that's too motherfucking, fun. you know, it yeah. didn't spell, but I'm glad they got to work that out. Um, you know, maybe I'll be on Club Shay Shay. You know, maybe, maybe you know, maybe Harvey Money making an appearance on Club Shay Shay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll open up a mic, you know what I'm saying? I'll open up, you know, do my comedy set before, oh, shit. come on, bring me on, man. You know my jokes is right. Come on, man. <laughs> they gonna throw your ass into that. All these comedians. <laughs> And now they're going to be talking shit about you. Let them talk shit. I got I got shit to talk. I don't think I got shit to talk back. I don't want to talk shit about nobody, man. I, I, I want to continue to keep our positive brand joke going. Joke you niggas up. Keep keep our shit smooth, Most man. comedians can't dress anyway. They clothes be fucked up. <laughs> I'm going to start with your clothes. <laughs> start with your facial hairs. Your beards be fucked up. <laughs> oh, is it like a thing we're in comedy where niggas have to wear fucked up clothes so their jokes are better? Like, what is that? Like... It's never good clothes until you like get to the top. Like yeah, Kevin is probably the only one that wears good clothes. Yeah, no, Mike wears good clothes. Mike too. be fly. Mike be fly. Mike, be Mike fly. and Kevin be fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Outside of that, yeah. And during that era, Kings of Comedy. I mean, that was I different. I didn't wear them suits, but I get it. We can you, name five. You wore those suits. I wore the Steve Harvey suits. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Big bodies. What? <laughs> Deacon pants. Come on, man. Deacon pants. Give me the vest, too. <laughs> Give me the vest. Come on, man. Steve Harvey blessed me with the hella suits, nigga. <laughs> Shout out to Steve. <laughs> Shout out to Steve. Shout yeah, to them Steve. niggas were suited in the movie. And right now, Kings, that nigga Steve be clean. Kings of Comedy. He, he, he a different clean. clean now. He a different clean now. Clean. He on a wave now. But everybody, oh, most comedians are dressed like that. Yeah, no, no, no. But also... Let's keep it a buck too, though, nigga. It's like it's expensive to wear, and you got to get to a certain level. Listen, man. Listen, man. When I was just playing at church for seventy five dollars a Sunday, we gonna pull up them pictures of you and your slacks, bro. I, I, listen, you oak gonna, tree. You, you gonna look like choir G- boy Gene from West. Five Heartbeats. I put it. It looked look nice, though. <laughs> it looked nice, though. They had a question at least about one of the articles of clothing I had on. Somebody, we get that shirt from Nick. Somebody put up. I know there's a lot of people that's from Tank's church days and the put church that he went to. They got some pictures of him when put he used to walk around with his Bible at a homeroom in high school. In high school, suited and booted. It wasn't expensive suits. It was the suits I could afford, but I put them things together because I wanted to look like something. I keep them clean. I keep them clean. It was tens, but I, but I keep them clean. <laughs> all right, that's the recap, man. Yeah, man. Um. Shout out to all the Grammy Award winners. Shout out to all the Grammy nominees. Um, shout out to our brother Harvey Mason Jr. over there yeah, at the Grammys. Yeah, yeah. Um, trying to get it all right, man, and put in put in put in a good space, man. Um, shout out to Usher. You got any um, I ain't saying no names uh stories from Super from, Bowl week or Grammy from Super week? Super Bowl or Grammy week? I like to say shout out to that NBA All Star that threw up on the table. <laughs> what? Yeah. And I ain't saying no name. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, you gotta tell me about that. One. Shout out. That was it. I, got, I, I definitely got one better. <laughs> I ain't fucking with that. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tank. I'm Jay Valentine. And this is the Army Money Podcast, the authority on all things R&B. Yes, sir. Uh, this has been the Recap Grammys, uh, the Usher Celebration, man. Make sure you go check our brother out on tour, man. And the next time you see us, uh, we'll have another guest in the hot seat representing this R&B. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. R&B money.